Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical equations. So if I was given this to simplify, square root of 125n, okay? So what I'd like to do is I'd see if I can break down my prime factorization of 125, that number itself, okay? So 125 I know is 5 and 25, and then 25 breaks down to be 5 and 5, okay? So really, 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. So what I like to do is I grab pairs, okay? So when I've broken it down, I can't break down each one of these anymore. They're all down to the lowest uh, prime number. I say, okay, I need to grab a pair. So I'm going to grab a pair of these fives. Right? I see one pair of fives, good. I circle, but then uh, I don't have another pair. That five is by itself. So the way I think about it, when I bring it to the outside, so if I, have, if I have a pair, I can bring it to the outside. So I bring one five to the outside of my radical, my root, okay, my root there. There's one five left over on the inside, so he uh, didn't have a pair. So the five's on the inside, and then the n is left over because times n is in right there, so times n so n's on the inside. And so now we, we can simplify from square root of 125 n is the same thing as five times the square root of 5n. And there we go. So let's recap. We're given the square root of 125n. And I do my prime factorization of 125. That's 5 times 5 times 5. We break it all down. Okay? So 125 is the same thing as 5 times 5 times 5. I find my pairs. All right? A pair of 5s, they go uh, together. So I combine them and put only one 5 on the outside. So if it's a pair on the inside, you just put one single one on the outside. So outside the square root is that 5 right there. And then uh, we have times there, the square root of, um, my cat's shaking the video there, uh, times the square root of 5, and the 5n stays on the inside, because this 5 is on the inside, and n is there, just left on the inside, and that's it. 